These are clove leaves, right? Cocoa leaves. Cocoa leaves. Cocoa leaves. Do you have some? They're good. Like this natural color never had been dyed. Mix of the alpaca, mixing browns, grays, black, and white. That's that. No dyes, just natural color. This one is a flower that blooms from the bushes here in the high altitude. What? Which color it will dye? Orange. Orange, yes, mixing with something else, yes, orange. Pink. Another color, no pink. Yellow, Yellow. 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 yes. Oh. Ah, What's yes. this? This one. Okay. Like that. What color from this? Green. Not blue. Green. No. Blue. Purple. Purple. No. Purple. No. Blue. Blue. Green. 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 Peach. Green. Black. Yeah. <laughs> orange. <laughs> A kind of Mustard. orange, this. Black walnut, berries and the leaves. Black, purple, 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 purple. Uh, red, 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 orange, orange yellow, blue. 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 blue, blue. We're still bad at this. White, no blue. Polka dot. Ah. <laughs> Sheep's wool has a lot of lanolin oil that absorbs the dust and the mud. Okay. So that's what she's dipping in the soap to wash. This one is already boiling. You see? Look at how it comes out. Oh, wow. going to be okay now up up you go look at the colors wow look at the green green and this one is kind of purple red and orange <laughs> Look at the boys. All right, boys, come on. Robert, no, no, Robert. No, get back here. Daniel, Daniel. I got him. <laughs> Oh, 
Robert was so good in the fashion show that he bought llama gloves. <laughs> Pit stop on the way to the hotel. I take some pictures of the big giant mountains. picture right there. Yeah. Okay, guys. okay, close your eyes. One and say three. You open it. One, two, three. Got it. One more. One, two, five. It's kind of spooky out here. Uh, I told you it was too early. Oh, it's nice. Why would you sit inside? Because it's freezing outside. We're waiting to have dinner. Oh, now I have light. Ooh, now you can really see me. Yes, now we're waiting for dinner and a show. Dinner and a show. You all got your drinks? Sorry. No, we have two I put in coal on stone. Salt on the rocks. This is what it's like when I cook. <laughs> <laughs> Five hours he's been cooking those stones. Wow. Oh. Oh. Baked potatoes? Potatoes. Potatoes. Oh. <laughs> 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 So we have so far pollito con papas. Mm. There you go, some pork, my friend. Oh, oh, pork. Alpaca as well. Oh, look, you can see the pig. Alpaca lunch for you tomorrow. Smells good. 
Let's do another one. Marvin's gonna try and look less hangry in this photo, okay? Wow. Plantains? Plantains. What was that? Plantains. So they are literally now stealing all of the steam that's coming out of it. What is the symbolism of the cross? And the beer. You know that culturally for us, my friends, preparing a feast like this, it's something that we are always <laughs> relating to the divine environments around. So if you think about the way how Incas worship nature, we prepare this, and at the time that we are planning to share this with everybody in our group, we're also sharing this with the gods around ourselves. So the cross represents the division of the four sides north, south, east, west, above, below, and everything else. For us, this is the division in like where we are spreading our gift, our preparation to everywhere else around. And that's, uh, that's why as we're making the toast, we also mean to put it in the direction of the four sides. So that is what it represents, the concept of the curse for us here. It is. <laughs>